Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be creating another video and today I'm going to show you how to create a Amazon and link that to your account for your e-commerce website here on Wix.com. If you haven't already, do subscribe and drop a comment below and let us know what you think. And let's get started. So to create the new website here at our dashboard on my site on Wix, we're going to go to the upper right hand corner, create a new site. Now Wix is going to of course ask you that very familiar question what is the website going to be about now here we're going to do online store and these are going to be our templates we can use all right now let Wix ADI create that site for you or you can create it well using the templates that they provide with you which there are thousands of different design features as well that you can incorporate into that same site so editing a template now we come down now you can see we have fashion and clothing check jewelry and accessories check and today we're going to do arts and crafts so let's select arts and crafts so maybe you're crea creating uh, some paintings maybe you, you are creating sculptures and you want to sell them and you want to sell them on Amazon well today I'm going to show you exactly how to be successful in linking your website with that Amazon account alrighty so let's take a look at our templates so of course if you have ceramics we have a wonderful ceramic store template to choose from we can view that right here and you can just kind of check below and see a wonderful white background, pretty basic template, right? We already have a store kind of linked here, a form and a map. All right, very interesting. A stationary store, a poster store, an art store in general, a toy store, a stationary artist, online Christmas market, Valentine cards, online store, party store, arts and crafts store. Let's take a look at the toy store. That's pretty cool. I like how it's wonderful done let's see okay okay now it says it's toys we kind of have a basis here let's choose so we can click edit we're going to choose this and about one and a half to two minutes based on your broadband or your internet service it takes maybe maximum of three minutes for it to load that template and all the features you can add to it so just the shakes of a lamp cell and it will get started all right, now we have our template loaded up pretty fast, pretty easy. And you can see this is a slime factory. So they sell that little slime, you know, the stuff that you can kind of play with, squish, wonderful stress reliever, just kind of like the poppets, the same here. This is our store, this is our shop here. So we know our shop. Uh, of course, I'm going to edit a few things here because I just don't like that menu. I'm going to move the menu over just to take. And when you do so, when you double click on this, I'm gonna put it in the center. Now we've done that, and because it's kind of hard to see, right? So you can see that it's a little difficult here because it's so small. I'm going to change that. So let me exit out of that. I'm going to click, I'm going to go to design. I'm going to, of course, I don't, I can select this one, which makes it bold too. Um, but here I'm going to go to customize design, and I'm just going to go to the text and you can change the color, you can do custom and bold italic as well. So just make this a little bolder, okay, and here we go. All right, and I'm gonna make this a little big, and scroll, push this down, there we go. All right, now I've done that, I've completely done that. I'm gonna check the menus and pages. So we have all on my card page and a thank you page. So of course this is based from our store. Uh, the Slime Factory, here's our shop, and you can see the price, I'm a product. We can change that uh, by managing products. As well, we can change those. This, of course, this is just the template. Of course, if you wanted to change these, you'll go to Manage Products, and it takes your dashboard uh, to your store, and you can manage these products. I'll go over this really quickly for you before we connect to Amazon. So this will load up, uh, and when it takes you there, we can, of course, uh, and I'll show you very quickly, uh, just to remind you, uh, to give a little fresher, uh, well, let's say, um, a fresher pick-me-upper right if you know that phrase all right so this is the product of course you can select right you can change the image when you select on this one product here uh, it's going to load and then of course you can change from the pictures and images right here upload an image right we can crop or edit the image and change it as well and we can create a collection create coupons for this this is your store change the name I'm a product I can just say slime right uh, no ribbons, the price the same, and I can give the description, 
product info, return info, shipping. If you remember our, from our previous video, if you've already followed us and you've subscribed to our channel, then you know exactly uh, from the previous videos exactly how to set up your online store. So uh, check that out and it'll go in a little bit more info. All right, so I'm just going to save. And of course, it was asking us to connect to the store, uh, but uh, connect the payment method for our store. Uh, so we'll do that a little bit later. All right, now let's get to the main point of this video is to connect Amazon. Now I'm going to show you how I do this. Uh, when you go to the app market, at apps, the Wix app market, of course you can go to business. It kind of leaves it a little mm, vague. There's still a lot of apps you can add. Uh, so I'm going to skip that part, right? So we can just go to business and do that as well. You can search apps. You can just type in Amazon. Let's say Amazon, right? Amazon showcase Amazon products on your site. And you can do that as well. Also, when you exit out of that and you scroll down and you'll keep scrolling in floor block category, if you see sell online, that will also take you there to also a lot of different other e-commerce uh, add-ons as well. So just to make it quick and easy, we can just say Amazon and it's already here for us as well. So we'll click and there we go. Now, this is a free, uh, this is a free app add-on for this. So definitely uh, take advantage of all the free apps you have. They will really help. I do recommend to pay for the premium uh, for Wix because you have a lot more options and it's not expensive and it really does help you, especially if you're selling online. So anything you're doing uh, for e-commerce, really the premium package gives you a lot more options. So let's add the site and it's going to ask us that question. Hey, we're going to access your site data. We're going to do this. And uh, they're just kind of giving you that. So you can just select yes right here. Uh, now I'd already loaded. Now, of course, this is not our store. We're not selling watches. We're not selling bowls. Uh, we are not selling backpacks. Uh, so this is the products that says buy now on Amazon. All right. So this is where we're going to go to settings. And now that Amazon is up. All right. Now main, uh, I'm going to go to settings here now too. For items per row. We can select that three. We can choose two. Uh, I'm going to choose three per row. Now you can have fit or you can have a crop. And you can see how this is. I'm going to select fit because we want all of the picture. Price and prime, you can remove too. Let's scroll down so just we can see. Uh, and so when you say price and prime, $10 prime, right? And it shows that as well. I'm going to do that because if you are selling on prime, the button language, it can be in English as well. And then you have Amazon affiliates. Now, Amazon affiliates must have at least three sales in the last 30 days to connect through the Amazon app. So you'll have to wait for that and you can connect it once you have the affiliates. All right, so now we're going to go to design. Now, once we go to the design, info background color. Now, if you notice, the great way to kind of catch in if you're not too sure what that means, info background color, is to look at the color and look at the site. You can see this right here. Let's change this a little bit. Uh, we can change to purple. Do you see? We can change it to gray. You can change it to any other color. Now, of course, you can add a color. And when you do that, it gives you these customized options. You just scroll down to whatever color you want. Right? So we can even choose this uh, or whichever you prefer. And that's when you have these options as well. It kind of checks. Now, I'm going to leave it in hex, and this is that color code that it has. Uh, let's see a good color that we have. Uh, let's see. Maybe right here. That's a pretty color. Almost like my shirt. All right, perfect. So add. Uh, we're going to add that color. And there we go. All right. Now, the item name. Now, of course, the item now name is this information right here. Let me exit out of that. Right? The item name, and uh, you can choose the font. And I'm going to change a different font for this as well, just to kind of show you. Uh, some beautiful fonts that they have. You can scroll down. Ah, uh, you can leave it like that. Um, well, that looks cool. Frederica the Great. Let's leave that. And the font size you're going to change with this little bar, the slide bar. So you have a 15, 16. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. There we go. And we can choose from bold, italics, and underline as well. Uh, I'm going to choose these three for now. That's the font picker. That's for the autumn name, and we're going to change the color. Now, of course, changing the font color, that's very hard to see. 
Uh, so we can choose white even, which will probably be better. And of course the same when you want to change the color, you can come here to the plus or choose what color you have. You already got it, right? So, all right, now we have white for this background, makes it pretty easy. Uh, the price, of course, like the price here, the prime color, we can change all of this as well. The price, we have the heading. Now we're gonna change that to a different one as well. And this is the price for it. Now we chose Belinda. And we're going to make this price just a little bit bigger too, so you can see it. And we'll make this 18. And we'll make it bold, italics, and not underlined for this one. All right. So we have that. Now, the prime color, you can choose the original, the black, or the white. Now, here for us, I think white would be really good. Uh, and the button. This is the button. All right. So we can change, of course, the font for it as well. There we go, buy now on Amazon, we'll make it as well. And we'll exit out and we can make that color white as well. For the button, all right. And scrolling down and the that's the hover label and the font color is white, background and opacity, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, now that's the design. And of course, if you want, you have questions, you have support, how to set up the Amazon app, how to retrieve your Amazon affiliate credentials, how to update the items info, and this gives this all for you as well. And you can also rate if you would prefer to rate this. Now, this is the main. So now we kind of design using the template for what they already have. Now let's get to the point of actually adding your items. So going to add items, and it's gonna take us to a dashboard. All right, now these are the items that we have, right? And if you want to add an item, you'll click this. Uh, I am going to show you a couple of different ways here. Now, now let's say you want to keep this item. Uh, you can actually go to hide item or you can uh, delete it as well. Now, I don't want to have any of these, so I'm going to delete them and I'm going to go to add. And of course, if you delete all of them, you have two choices here, add items or add them here. So let's click in the center. And you can do search by name, URL, etc. Let's say a slime. This is our item. And here's your choices. Fruit slime, do yourself slime kit for toy kids and girls. Uh, let's see, magic toy, Elmer's glue, pre-made slime. Cosmic slimer, glitter slime, right? All right, we can choose this one item selected. And we can go Let's choose a couple. Play-Doh slime and slime go do it yourself kit. And there you go. All right, we can even do select all. all. Right, and we just selected all of them here. And you can save. And there you go. Now you're selling it now on Amazon. So uh, now if you are an Amazon affiliate, you can connect your account just the same. Just connect your account. Right, so now we did that and we've added items. Now um, I am going to type in toy slime again and see all the other options. Right, robotics, 60 billion CFU, probiotics for women, baby Einstein, take along tunes, musical toys. So this is kind of pulling in everything that it said here. All right, now I'm going to go back to my items. We've already added them. And if you don't like, you can delete it, you can refresh it and you can hide the item as well uh, per each item we have selected. All right, so of course we can refresh as well, all right? Now, going to connect now, uh, connect your Amazon affiliate account, right? Your access key, you'll enter that, the associate tag, your tracking ID, right? Uh, and your secret access key as well. Now, once you have all of this information, you just enter it here and then you'll connect it and voila, that is your Amazon account. Now, let's take a look, and there we go. There are our items. Pretty cool, right? So the same is this right here. You see now we've made our custom design for this, and we have our store, and you can actually offer it on Amazon as well. Now, it's kind of overlapping uh, our stuff, if you've already noticed that. So to change that, we can actually just drag this down and scroll on down as well to right here. 
Now we're just going to put it in its own little space. Let's scroll up. All right, now we're on the form. And there we go. All right, now you see this is extra. And another good idea too, now this is if you want to put it here, uh, where we kind of put it on the same page on the home store, on the home page as well. So the shop, it's just the shop. So if you keep scrolling down, you can actually find more stuff that we've connected with our Amazon account, right? Okay, uh, another option to do as well is you can go to menu and pages. Uh, you can actually add a page as well. And how to do that, uh, you can actually go to site menu, right? And now you see this we can add page and we'll do a blank page right and now we have a new blank page now if you'll see it says new page here when you come to site menu new page just highlight and we're just gonna say buy on Amazon right and done buy on Amazon that's all we needed and exit out now once you connect your store what you have on Amazon it will show your stuff but since we're using the templates it is actually using the previous right so now we have that this is our page and of course when you are wanting to go to menu and pages you can do the same with the ad apps and you go back to Amazon as well and we'll do that really quick search apps we'll say Amazon showcase your products on your site and add again right and this is exactly buy on Amazon. It's the same, and you can you can add this here. So you change it exactly the same way. Uh, we have buy on Amazon, which will take you to that page. Uh, so and if you did it the way I showed you, of course, if you're following along, you can just go back and delete uh, from the other side by going to menus and pages. We're going to go back to home, and I'll exit out while this is loading, and I'm going to scroll down. And you see our stuff here. Let's go to delete. And it deleted. Now, when we come back to menus and pages, we'll go to um, site menu. And then you can go to buy on Amazon. And it's going to take you here. Right? So uh, it's the same. And when you go to the preview, and it's going to be the same. I'll show you how that works. So just changing the items, managing the items are the same here. Uh, as well so nothing really changes now we have let's go to home because this is the demo items right so when you click home it will take us to our home page and then you'll see this is what the home page looks like and go to buy on Amazon and when you go to buy on Amazon it will go right here so you can actually do it this way as well so you have a lot of options right here so of course uh, if you want to change the items, the same, nothing changes. So you'll do it exactly the same way as to adding it, manage the items, you can customize these boxes, all of this stuff for you as well. All right, and we'll go back, back to editor. And if you're ready and like, oh, okay, that's great, that's cool, I've finished that, I've done, I've added my store, I've changed the background, I've worked on my template, I've added the store, I've added Amazon, I've did all everything I want, and then of course, you can just go to publish, and voila, your page is completed. All right, guys, I want to remind you, do subscribe to our channel and drop a comment below. Let us know what you think, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.